Check those buttons. Don't need to do it in game. Exactly. We are, we are living in the year 2024. You can do it in the menus right now. Taking a real good while. Make sure they're all right. Love to see it. All right. I'm right. Oh. Headphones initiated. Oh, oh, I like that. The handshake as well. Not yeah. just the fist bump. You don't see those often in the so. Like, even before, like you, you wouldn't. It's a much more rare than a, uh, just a proper fist bump. When it's all said and done, they go call me a legend. Yeah. But the intro rocks as well. Love, love the energy. And this intro. Oh, yeah, they skipped it. Never mind. Let us begin. Round one. There we go. Going Fight. into it now. So you were playing Rex a uh, good while uh, earlier today as well. What do you feel like their strengths are going into this one? Their strengths, I would say, are their IQ with Rashid. They know a lot of tricks and I would say gimmicks with the character, but they're also familiar with what they can and can't do with the character. They know what their ceiling is with the character, but they also know what their limitations are. And it makes for a very clean, uh, almost like a, like a play through a run of, of Rashid and playing with that character. You don't even know what to expect with the mix-ups. And that's honestly the best way to play this game is just by taking advantage of being as unpredictable as possible. And they're great. And, and we're seeing it right now, actually. Using as much as they can with the opponent for now and using as much as they can with the situation. No! Catch with the reset. Catch the monkey because he's not blocking on Wake Up. Visu put put visions, uh, visuals to my words I just said. Right there. And that was a great uh, execution. Right there, actually. Round two now. Great jump on the donkey kick. So still not afraid to use them. Good challenge. Oh, there we go. It's the read on the wake up driver version. Rex is right a fan of him. Out of the corner there. Oh, no. And the pressure as well. Going for the air jump. The dive kick with the meaty overhead as well. Come to me. I mean, that's not going to be enough, but it's definitely going to put Ryu in a bad situation right now. Just drive spin. Spend it on an impact. Oh, good challenge there, but it's going to trade. That's going to go through. Oh. And that's going to be game one right there for us. Let's take game one. Getting some coaching here from Rebrand. Buffalo FGC always in each other's corners. Oh yeah, he's oh he's getting like the uh, he's like all the spark notes here. Yeah, he's getting the entire chapter right now of advice. Well, that's fine. We I mean we we do have to delay until uh. Uh, Joe gets here, so you know what? I'm I'm not gonna uh, penalize anybody for it. Absolutely. Although Joe, please show up. Yes, for missing that, that would be much preferred. Immediately, what I'm noticing is Wendy's is playing a lot more aggressively. Definitely trying to stay in Rex's face. Nope. I didn't force the pressure with the OD fireball. Not going to work. And Monkey Business uh, chooses to go into burnout. Time to go back. the DI there to counter. And side switches. Good decision by Rex right there. All these plus frames. You have to sit there and take it. Oh, here we go. Great jump over. Very good position here. Just keeps that pressure going. Back it off into that golden area. Where Rex can't throw a fireball. Can't jump either. Oh, that is going to hurt for sure. Goes in a level two Great Desert Storm. Oh, and no. that's going to be round right there. Yeah, tough position there. Tornado was approaching. Wasn't quite sure if Rex was going to use it. But yeah, just the simple walk up and grab. That level two especially definitely changed the game for Rashid. He just goes from a very technical character to a much easier character. He gets away with a lot more than most characters can't get away with. Very few people in the game that would behave in such a way. That is one of them. 
dungeon. Oh, oh here we go. Oh no! He's up over the cycle and gets clipped by it. Just outside of Monkey Business's uh, ideal range here. Not able to connect with some bigger buttons. That beat, that beat the Denture Fire. Wow. That is, that is a difficult move to block. Because all the plus Another needy overhead there. Rex is going to play too. So far he's 3 for 3 if my count's correct. Another just dash grab. grab. Can I have to sit there and present. eat this? to sit there and block while the tornado is in your face. That's a nigh impossible position for Bucket Business to find himself in. Rebrand once again back on. This is, uh, this is the last chance here for Bucket Business. Cracking that top eight, but obviously wants to go as far as he can with this one. Absolutely, and the thing about Rashid too is that he has such an almost unlimited bag of tricks that it's almost difficult to even manage being able to understand what is next with the character because there's just so many options that you can do. Right, going back into it now. Black chance. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A little impatient, eats the eagle spike. Yeah, all their oh, meter yeah. goes into burn up for the crowd. But Rex, knowing that he, uh, I, I do like this idea from Rex though. Knows that Monkey Business was uh, originally playing at a much further range, so he couldn't really uh, pressure him a lot in burn, especially in mid screen like this. Like right now, that was a very safe position for Rex to be in. Now he's got full drive to go again and make to start making his comeback here. Oh, this out of range there. Well done by Monkey Business. Gets that point on the board. Essentially the first of six. Monkey Business is going to need to take the set. Goes for the Hail Mary uppercut there, and it works out. Oh no! Not sure if that was a miss input. Throw. Pressure going, spent some drive. Oh! This is a good punish. Quick spin. Get that drive gauge back. First game, making the series 2 1, still in favor of Rex. Yeah, and you'll notice uh, Rex didn't take any time to uh, stop contemplate on that one. Know that his game plan is, uh, is it, it's doing pretty well, all things considered. I would say so. so they've gotten this far, and, I, and I'm sure they're going to continue with what they had in mind because it worked out so far. Side switch. Oh no! Okay, still gets the punish though. Perhaps a little unideal, but a punish is a punish. Oh, gets a little ambitious with the, uh, the meaty standing fierce. Right now, Rex with tournament point. Set point, I should say. Uh, we're not quite at tournament point yet. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to be for a while. But the run he's going on, it very well could be within our not so distant future. Gets out of the corner there. Lex Flash is getting out. He can read in the corner. I won't do it again though. Oh, it's gonna be a monkey business doing it. Summons the Great Desert Storm. Gets the lockdown monkey business. Goes for a grab there. Oh! 
continues the pressure. Incredible shimmy there from Rex, putting Monkey Business in a critical position. Just opting to stay. Don't overextend. Great jump, jump over the on the Cyclone. Oh no, didn't have Dungeon. Fireball. Oh. Monkey's gotta watch out. Oh! I love the idea there from Monkey Business. But it's not going to beat out the tornado. Rex going to be able to jump over, get that punish, and it's going to be moving on in our bracket. That was a very difficult situation to go through, but but Rex still staying consistent with their Rashid and moving on to the tournament uh, as they were doing before. Yep. And it's good to see that there there was there was adaption. There there was there was that uh, change in that uh, fourth uh, that fourth game, I believe in which uh, they were able to get that uh, third game, I should say. My yep. apologies. Uh, yeah, we're going to be moving on to our other game on loser's side. We've got Flux Waves going up against Solomon. So Flux, easily one of the favorites to take this whole thing. Oh, definitely. But uh, 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 Chunk and I were talking about it uh, yesterday. Fascinating to see him on the, uh, the loser side of top eight already. That's right. And I, I believe uh, it was actually Bonsai who was the one that was uh, the one who defeated them yesterday. During our top 24 qualifiers. Now, move on, we move forward. Top eight action here. Smart choice. Solomon on the Ken. Probably gonna be seeing the Octopus in Flux Blade. Been uh, real confident, looking real good with the character as well. Just, you know, not to mention that I haven't, I haven't seen his JP in a minute, so. Yeah, that is true. Those buttons, right? There we go. We might have a little bit of a debuff. We don't have costume three on uh, on Aki in this one. Oh, that is, uh, in uh, in top twenty four we had uh, costume three for the DLCs, but alas, not not this time. Gonna have to rock it with regular old costume one. Still the same character on the left. Aesthetically. Right. Yeah. Down, another throw loop. Let's go gambling. Oh, it says right back at you. Almost went for the exact same sequence too. Exactly. Oh, now this is exactly where Solomon does not want to be. Against Aki, fresh in burnout. Now it's just to eat this. Oh, fumble there. Solomon's doing the most they can right now. Gets the loop going. Great jump, a basic throw. Good use of super there to get the first round. Okay, you don't have to guess on the wake up super. Just make sure, uh, just make sure your opponent press the button. As exactly. simple as that. Oh, just goes into nothing. All carry. Combo off the stray hit. Got you. Got you. Oh. harassing Solomon right now. While Ken is in the corner. The break. So a bit of a dire position. Low on drive. Here. Not gonna be able to cancel. Even e I mean, even if it was special cancel, it just didn't have the health to respond with drive and packed up his own. Good awareness of flux waves. Very true. Put them in a checkmate situation with that DI. Play a nice, small, easy street fighter. Not going for these big buttons, but taking advantage of every opportunity to get some big damage going. Nice throw loops again. Solomon, though, keeping an eye on it. Actually, just the right distance away. And gets game one with a level three. There, then here, and there. My magnum 
With a perfect no less as well. That is true. Good start for Flux. Solid though. No slouch. No pushover. Easily one of the best players of the province of uh, Montreal. City, the city. Slowly back Flux waves into the corner though. Tries to escape. Gets thrown right back into it though. Speaking of throwing, we're getting throw loops. Stop trying for but a moment. Solomon needs. Oh no! What a whiff there. A little late to the DP, perhaps looking for a cross cut. Oh no, this is where it could start spelling disaster for Solomon. And Flux has been doing a good job actually maintaining the pressure that way, keeping Solomon in the corner with oh. their spacing and their use of normals and attacks. Spends the drive on an impact, goes into burnout. Flux Wave's taking perfect advantage of it. Full combo into a kill. Flux Wave takes round one. Back dash away from the grab. Solomon having some trouble opening up Flux Waves here. Get the patient as well. Going into level three right there. Solomon gonna be in burnout in the corner too. In burnout. Critical health though. And that's gonna be it's done into perfect. I I like I like that because like. We, we've seen it a lot today where uh, people just simply aren't reacting in time to the uh, the raw drive impact in the corner. So if you force a block string, people are going to think, ah, oh, I can at least like start churning the uh, super here, get the reversal if it comes. That's correct. But you know what? When you're thinking about neutral, you're not thinking about the drive impact. I don't, I don't know if we have any players here born after 2005 to react to one draw. That's a great point. At least on top eight. We, we, we're, not, we're not familiar with that. That is, this is a certain situation with so many resources like that, where you can overlook something like the eye, but then also take a lot of damage from it, if you do. Good job, keep the slots locked down though. Oh, great with punish. Baiting it out, nicely done by Solomon there. Getting flashy on us as well. Wanted to make sure that was the round for their part. They don't want to make any mistakes for that. Good jump there. Meeting crouch, he's medium. Lead into a stun. Attack. Both players got a good uh, attack rate. Oh. Goes straight through the projectile. It's gonna lead to something dangerous. It's the anti-air. Oh, oh, here we go. Solomon now in burnout. Yeah, great awareness of the string Solomon's using. Get the full combo with the drive impact. Flux Wave using all of their meter right here. Going into level two. I think they knew that was going to be enough. And wanting to save the meter for the next round two, which is very smart on their part. Absolutely. Keep a bar of meter for a driveless reversal. But also within a, within a game like this, you're going to be able to get uh, two bars of meter pretty quick. Exactly. And then right there you saw like Flux Wave using an advantage, one of the buffs that they got in season two. Going through the projectile right away, which you couldn't do in season one. Ooh, not going to recover in time to respond with the drive impact. Nice early spend. Going to get back to full drive. Of course, Fox Wave just under half. Almost a two. Oh, Jimmy Neutron over here. Almost got it. That's a reversal. Fuckwave's on set point, just looking for something. Fuckwave's in burnout right now. Oh, that's putting 
Solomon in burnout. And now just might get chipped out here. Yeah, didn't have a choice. Had to go for something, but not going to be enough. Flux Waves takes a 3-0 and is going to be moving on. And uh, for those of you uh, who aren't able to see it, at the 11th hour, he did make it. That's right. Joe Merogan is in the building, folks. Going to be able to continue winner's side now. Got Joe versus Electribe coming up. Long awaited set. Looking forward to it. Oh uh, yeah, Joe, uh, Joe had a, um, he had a pretty good run with uh, Kuma. We were seeing yesterday in pools. Did also uh, keep going with it in top 24. Uh, but, uh, hold on, I lost my train of thought, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, still not afraid to uh, bust out that Luke. That's still good. looking good, still feeling good. This, this Luke guy does not care about nerfs. Of he course. Got, he got those nerfs, Street Fighter 5. the player, care. that's the issue. That, that is the flaw that a lot of these developers don't seem to be aware of, is that like if the player is already good, there's not much you can do about their, their loyalty or their actual commitment with the character that doesn't, that doesn't affect the actual fundamental that they possess. Absolutely. Capcom Cup X finalist gracing, our, gracing us with his presence. Curious to see who he brings out uh, for at least game one here. He's clearly confident in both the Akuma and the Luke, so... But again, this is he's got a, a whole Swiss Army knife of uh, characters he can play at any time. Yeah. It looks like we're going with the Akuma to start. Up against Electrides, Kimberly. And here we go. No nonsense, all business. Skipping the intros. We're getting right to the action here. Yeah, here. Spend the reversal. One for a uh, meaty back heavy kick. Lining up with the air fireball there. Big win punish. Kills with the Odi Tatsu. Good start for Electrive. Good punish. Trying to play a little bit of pussies, but gets caught by the grab. Oh! They did it too. It's like great awareness from Electra. Just to throw out a button. No, he knew that Joe was already uh, charging, uh, ready uh, for something to get ready for the super. So just through the quick recovery button, to be able to steal two bars of meter from Joe. Out of range there to continue that combo. Electrop continuing with either way, keeping Joe in the corner. The ODDP and not going to get hit by the uh, paint can on landing, still invincible. Takes with target combo. We got a side game. And like the big thing to uh, keep in mind too, like we were waiting for Joe this whole time. He just showed up to the building. Yes. So this is uh, this is a Joe Morogan who is not warmed up at all. Yes. Right off the TTC, walked right into the building, and, were, and was told, go play your match. This is the first game that they're playing for. We're witnessing right now. Live. Oh, good challenge. Not going to be able to get the full combo off it. Oh! Grabs right through the startup frames with his overhead right there. Low goes into level three. I do wonder if that'll be enough damage. Not enough damage, but they will get the buff in their way. Oh! And baits it too. No need for the buff. Wake up. The uh, uh, wake up level three, like, uh, not, not really something that uh, I would uh, expect from Joe there. But yeah, that was a, uh, that was a, okay, let's just get this over with. Let's switch it back to loot. Exactly. Wake up level three. Can't but, yeah. go wrong with all reliable. In this situation, go to old Luke. Nothing beats that. Going into game two now. Great read and punish. Tech 
attack. Goes the burn out, trying to keep that pressure going. Good anti air from Electrive. These anti airs keep trading with that uh, recently nerfed uh, good jump heavy punch. Going into level one super right there. Not the fastest super, but fast enough to catch that wake up option. The, uh, the meaty jab. Let's it walk with the, with the heavy knuckle. Heavy full combo. Looking a little dicey there, but Joe cleans up regardless. With the, even without the lack of practice, uh, still not missing these perfects. I swear, Joe must do this stuff in his sleep. I was going to say, he can take advantage of a lot of the buffs that Luke got with the meaty tackle, for example. I tried to throw in some uh, great unorthodox pressure here. Catch Joe Merogan uh, off guard every few, once in a few moments. Oh, base the super right there. Oh, give me a break. Base the super again? Look at that. Let's try to be able to steal all three bars of Joe uh, this time. Oh, he still has drive to work with, though. Can't stop that ODDP. Golden with the overhead there. Not enough damage. And catches Luke with the super. Tying up this game. Now, a lot of meter being spent here on reversal options. Going in Electrive's favor, though. Electrive still has two bars of meter to work with. Joe just about to get his first at the start of this round. All of their meter right here. Want to close it out. Oh no! Misses it. Yeah. Misses it for win on here. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. It was a setup. It yeah, happened. Exactly. Loop. They meant to do that. And Joe tying it up right now, 1-1. Combo gets the knockdown. Yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. And it's here, not working the leg drive saver there. Now Joe gets the cook, keeps him in the corner. Another throw. Continuing to grab. Can we go for four? Not often for it. Yeah, where you going? Parry it. No! Catches him. Oh, oh there you go. Stun there. Great timing on that to not lock. Gets the stun. Oh, catches the overhead. Might be able to close it out with this. Has C8. Defends the level two. Good choice by guaranteeing that. That's a good way to continue the, uh, the momentum on Electron's part. Just yeah. to use the super to guarantee that round. It still has an extra meter to go with. So. Electrive, at least in this set, has certainly been a fan of keeping that level one on deck for reversals as well. Exactly. So wanted, wanted to keep that far meter. Smart idea being that Kimberly doesn't have a great reversal already, so might as well use the level one for that. Speaking of reversals, Joe gonna spend his. Goes into burnout for his troubles, though. Oh, Special lock on regardless. Perfect, perfect parry. Oh, back to the wall with the raw drive impact. Joe not be able to get out of there in time. Now it's level three to work with. Yep, and that's pretty good right there. Yeah, no chance of like trying to drop in that. Takes the game, now up 2-1. Got Joe on the back foot here. We're going back to character select once again, but perhaps just for a moment, just to think on this. Totally <laughs> understandable reason. Yep, assess the situation you find yourself in. You have plenty Take of time between games, so yeah, assess the situation like you said. Right, right. Looking good here. Up 2-1. Oh, great shimmy. 
against each other. Honestly. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be round for Electra right there on set point. Great challenge. Joe doesn't need to spend a dime of it. Just keeps on challenging with that crouching heavy punch. Or crouching medium punch, excuse me. Exactly. Both characters starting this third round right here with full meter. Oh, and again, it just keeps connecting. Left tribe getting a little too impatient. Oh, no punish on the empty jump. Very good touch. Conversion right there. Oh, you saw it. Okay. Gets the punish counter, so it's going to be enough to kill. Well, you saw Joe accidentally drop that uh, level three there. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a scramble here. A little bit, but we are in the last set right here. We're on game five. Game five, last Where game. moves on. But the loser of which uh, still wins. Better reversal. Joe once again going for that empty jump, but not uh, punishing Electra for going for an option. Oh, not quite going to burn out. Yeah, there's nothing Joe can do in that situation. Just had to sit there and eat it. You jumped, you got hit. You blocked, you got hit. Perhaps a blessing in disguise, Joe. Got out of burnout, got another chance to keep that pressure going. But once again, going immediately back into it. Now has the deal. Oh, perfect carry there. Not gonna be enough damage here. But he uses the super to guarantee it. Great stuff from Electri, great patient. I do like I do like how he's not putting on the gas just because uh, Joe was in burnout. Like Joe, when he's getting pressured, like he's not scared to challenge. So it's a crouching lights, crouching medium, just like there. Joe's getting massive damage on it every time. So just just play outside of his ideal range here. Don't give him the chance. So right now, Joe's not even uh, letting Electride out of his sight. Just keeping the gas on. And now takes the round. We're entering our final round for this set. Game five. Both are full meter too, so they'll have a lot of resources to use in this situation. The overhead, again. Oh, and the shimmy! Being mischievous losing it in that way. Oh, no! And this could be it right here. Then into level three, yes. and it's over. Electribe takes it 3 2 over Joe and Morogan. Great stuff there from Electribe. Kimberly. And you know, you, you, can't, you can't count Joe out of that as well. Like, again, he just showed up, no warm up, no nothing. Still brought it to final, final round against, uh, against Electribe, who's, who's probably just been playing literally all day as soon as doors open. Exactly, exactly. Nothing but prepared for that matchup. It's going to be sitting pretty in winner's finals. Absolutely. I am. Going to be going back over to the loser side now. We got Bonsai returning to the stage. Okay. Representing Sudbury well. Has some actually has some of the uh, Sudbury faithful uh, in the second row there. Yeah, that's true. They they did all come together, which is very nice. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a it's a bit of a track coming from, like, 
Like we, like, be, like, uh, like people would go to like, like, go from Buffalo to Toronto, from uh, wherever to Montreal to Ottawa. Like, on, it, it feels weird that like Sudbury is like, it's not like geographically the furthest, yes. but it feels like it, you would have to make like an insurmountable like trip just trip. to go to or from. Both physically and mentally, I feel like it's a bit of a culture shock. I feel both both ways. Either way, if uh, you, when you go or to or from. There's a lot of changes you have to go through, I feel. And, and it is, uh, like you said, a big trek yeah, in that sense. Let me move it on, though. Got Bonsai going up against Rex Zakel. Jury versus the Rashid matchup, we'll, we'll be seeing here, which is going to be interesting to see. Yeah, so how do, how do you feel about this matchup? In this matchup in particular, so uh, I have played Bonsai. Beat Bonsai is an incredible player. Well, uh, both of them, obviously, everyone in top eight, uh, of course, says. I would say for Rashid, uh, based on my experience, I would say that it is not one that I thoroughly enjoy. But but there are some caveats. For example, like Jury's projectile being so low to the ground, there are certain things you can do, such as actually air uh, air dash it because it's so close to the ground. Normally you can't do the low air dash, but the not sure how much that'll be used side. in this uh, this play right here. But we'll see the. Uh, how both players will adapt to each other in that way. Right. And then for example, Bonza, we've seen how often they use the jump forward heavy punch, for example, and that's just an absolute bully to deal with. And even um, Rashid, for example, like using every bag that they have with that character you know, can go a long way as well. It's more so just about how they adapt to each other. The wind's always on my side. Both players now. Looks about as ready as they're going to be. And a go home scenario. Angel Rock. Sudbury lighting up. Bonsai saw Rex completely charging off the cyclone, but just took that time, charged all three blue hot dogs. He knows that there isn't any one of the projectiles that just reach him in that time. Wait for an option after, get that perfect punish, keep the pressure going into the level three. That's looking real good. And concluding right there with the jumping heaven. Judy wins! Very difficult to call. So being on the receiving end of that, it is difficult to know if it's going to cross up, it's not going to cross up. And it does, it feels like it has a lot of block stuff in that way too. Dead reversal does not want to even think about blocking that mix. Raw drive impact. Lost adding on. Rex Eggles perhaps getting a little too uh, a little too trigger happy with the wake up uh, drive reversals. That is the thing about Jury in this match too, that she's very good at the air right now. Round two. The way that normal changes her her, her box is very, very miscellaneous. Again, just simply refusing to eat that overhead. Oh! 
Tries to go for the anti air to beat him in the air. Just not in time. Max gets to the other side, forcing Bonsai into the corner now. And it can. Bonsai is not blocking on Wake Up. I love it. Yes, it feels like he's holding up forward. A very offensive game going on right now. Great job using the counter hit to continue the combo. I am the turbulent. Great awareness to get the pick up on that. Those players got level 3 to work with now. Nice to trying to play patient, but gets caught in action for the bottom moment. Oh, they're going to take advantage. Cash out to level 3. Little scaling applied. Get that drive gauge back. Oh, and you're not hitting this net with a drive impact of your own. Got those young men reactions. React to the drive impact. Now up 2-0 in the set. To advance. Oh, great with fun. Rex burned himself out by preemptively going for the parry in the middle of the super, but it was in that gap between the second and third series of hits where there was just nothing. Spent too much drive, burned himself out, and Bonsai was able to just completely take advantage of the situation. Bonsai now on set point from an incredible interaction there. Great two right now. Hitbox on the tornado gun. Bonsai survives it. Oh, that's a good punish right there. Wake up level one. Not gonna work. There you go. Good patience. Don't spend that drive. And after a fierce battle, fight round. Fight. Gets the punish on it. Enough meter to combo into the level three, which is going to be enough to take the game, take the set. Bonsai is moving on. Great showing for Guts on the left. Both of them run. Showing a great showcase of Rashid either way, but Bonsai just showing to be the better player in this set right now. Yeah, but And definitely doing the most they could with their DI and their jumping heavy punch to overpower. Rex's machine. Good stuff there. We've got Flux Waves once again on the stage, ready to go. A look here. Yeah, you have to forgive me. I've, I, I personally have awful memory, so I can never remember what's going to be going on here. But it looks like it's going to be Joe? Yes, it should be Joe. Joe versus Flux Waves, you say. Yeah, Joe versus Flux. So this is uh, this is one I thought we would have seen uh, a lot uh, later on. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be getting it at this stage in the game. Joe's Joe's gone again. Do you have to use the washroom? Uh, that that's what I'd wager. But oh, I. Now I'm I'm hoping uh, that Joe didn't think that uh, he had already gotten DQ'd and said something. Oh. Okay, never mind. Oh, we're good. Here. We're he's good. Here. Joe's he's here. here. Okay, good.
very interesting about this game right here is that this was Grand Finals last year's Toru Yuka. Absolutely, mistaken, yes. Correct? Grand Finals last year of Toru Yuka 2023 was these two. It was Flux Waves that took it. Joe on the Luke, Flux on the uh, JP. So we, we're going to get some different characters this time. I don't think uh, we're going to be getting the uh, the JP again from uh, Flux. Been been cooking with the Aki so far. Very true. So no real reason to change. Joe, I don't know if we're going to see the Akuma uh, game one. I think Joe's going to just stick with Luke this time. That's understandable. They definitely did show a better showing earlier today with the Luke. So understandably so if he did stick with them but again it is a person three so it could go it, he could switch uh, yeah. at some point but better to start with what was working yeah. before but yeah. you at could any point it could go either way yeah. you could start with the akuma get experimental see uh, what you're able to get away with what is going to be able to translate to a potential luke switch after but at this stage now you're on loser side That's there, true. there's a uh, little room for error here Joe speed ran that uh, that button uh, selection there. Oh, He's gonna be locking in with the Akuma to start. Okay then. Not one that I would have had uh, in my betting books. But yeah, starting with the Akuma. Flux on the Aki. Maybe wants to uh, emulate what they wanted to do the first time by seeing how far they can go with the Akuma and then just go from there. I mean, I mean, yeah, like you said, it's first to three. There, there is room to get experimental. Joe's ready to go. So fist bump initiated. Now we're going into it. The most evil creature this universe of Street Fighter has ever seen versus Akuma. Yes, exactly. Flux waves on the Aki. Joe on the Akuma. Fireball is starting to slowly add up for Joe. Challenge. Flux in the corner now. Still playing it nice and small. Oh, gets caught parrying. That's gonna be big damage. Drives adding up like crazy. No final taking off. Try to avoid it. Oh. oh, just does it again. Jo Joe just wants to get in at this point. No, try to go for the fireball, beat out an option, but level two going to come out in time and beat the fireball. Luckily, he's taking round one. What a guy. Joe just going for these jumps. Does not want to risk these throws. Flux able to keep that pressure on no matter what. Trying to catch something, throwing everything but the kitchen sink. Finally connects something though. It looked like a bit of a combo drop there. Could have confirmed into that round. But just as we predict here, Joe going back character select, immediately back to the Luke. Definitely was interesting to see that first game because Akuma does want to be full screen, but Aki wants the complete opposite of that. So I think that's kind of how that first game went accordingly. And I feel like with Luke, there are more options to play that full screen game against Aki if necessary. No! Beats out the Sandblast and gets to go on that offense. Start running it. Well, both players now just opting to jump instead of attacking the throws. Yeah. 
the reversal has but a little bit of drive left to go. It gets burned out. Locks on planet, nice and easy. Waiting for Joe to make a mistake, like the jump in there. Gets to confirm off the fireball. Into the chip damage kill. Luxwin going in with the drive rush. It's a big damage conversion right now. Puddle. Joe goes into it, but hey, presses a button, gets the hit, removes that poison. Smash mouth style. Great challenge with Flux. He catches the low as well to keep that offense going. Combo it's into level, level three. three. And that's going to be game, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's going to be game. Yeah. My Flux waves now up 2 0. I've taken a glimpse into the uh, into the past of Toriyuka in 2023. Oh, but switching back oh, to switching Akuma, back. interesting. Okay, then. No hesitation there. Uh, perhaps uh, perhaps he just remembered something uh, ma super matchup specific. Possibly. I, yeah, I, I'm not too sure of the psyche of Joe going into this, uh, this potential final game here. I'm not one to question Joe. Oh, gets just out of range for the Demon Flip Punch. Or throw. Can we do it again? No. Flux Wave maintaining pressure in such a way. Joe unable to find a response and consistent answer to this pressure that he's dealing with right now in this game. Flux Wave taking that round with the perfect. Now on set point. To the low forward. Flux in the corner. Thought of passion, resets with the throw. Keeps going for those back heavy kicks on Meaty. Missed the punish there, but puts himself in a bad situation right now. Now it's Joe's back to the wall. Good go. use of that dive kick, Demon Flick dive kick there to get out of that situation. Fades the fireball, gets the punish on it as well. Joe taking a round on the Akuma. Full meter to work with now. Then the reversal. Okay, gets the punish on that. Bit high angle for that dive kick. Combo's into level three, nice and early. Almost gonna be right back to completely full gauge. Great combo here. Does this kill? I think this kills. Oh, that is that is definitely going to be enough right there. And Flux Wave moving on in the tournament after that relatively controlled performance right there. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, because Joe's such a brawler. He's he's one to like always challenge everything. And it's like he somehow finds himself always in a spot where it's like you can never really like uh, put a leash on him. You can never lock him down. But that was. That was, that was, like you said, very controlled there from yes. Flux. Able to uh, counter every option that he was going for. Exactly. It looked like they were the one in charge of the game, just determining what was going to happen and what wasn't going to happen. And just maintained the, the pressure that they were just continuing to onslaught for Joe. And uh, I'm sure they'll continue it throughout this duration of the entire tournament right now. All right. Going back up to the winner's side now. Got some winner's finals action coming up for you. Small caps and Electribe. And Electribe, uh, like the, uh, like, just like the tag and flies, and he, he's been electric today. Yes. Looking real good. And looking good all tournament. He's got a bit of a behemoth ahead of him, though, in small caps. No slouch, no pushover. Both of these players in winner's finals for a reason. Absolutely. And Epic's definitely good character, uh, players, I should say. Uh, for a very long time of this duration of Street Fighter 6. Locked in on the Ryu. You guys waste no time, I love it. Yep, you're good.
Winners finals. Tour you can 2024. Getting started now. Smile for small caps. Oh, and, the, and the quick, like, angry face. Not smiling back at me. What's your problem? Yeah, yeah. Game time, you know? Right there. That drive connects. Okay, with the combo off it with the bomb. Oh, Good great chin. Right oh, no. Drops the combo there. A little bit late to the party. Small cat's taking advantage of it. Oh, great punish. Oh, that guy's back to the corner now. Good great jump there. over. My small caps. Cleans it up nice and well to take that first round. Great read on the wake up drive reversal. What an interesting choice there to go for the DI as the anti fireball tool. Another? Uh, yes. Oh, oh, he, he, he won't do it again. Pressure. Pressure. We're throwing each other here. Gets that jump in. Spends it all. Spends into level three as well. Black Trap we saw earlier uh, being uh, pretty conservative uh, with uh, spending the meter. Like, always often go for level one or two, but spends the three this time. He's not going to get that install to work with. Exactly, and it's a good call to do it, actually, at the end of the second round. That way they maintain the start of the third round with that buff. No, Very good. Good. Small Caps is not caring about those buffs at all. That is true. They're just playing their own game right now, it looks like. Spends into a level three of his own. Oh, wow, great challenge. The patience by both players right there. The small caps able to outpatient Electra in that nice. first game right there. Yeah, that last interaction there looked like a bit of a, looked like a, a Sam show round. Honestly. Small caps, great patience, waiting for the uh, moment Electra did something. Challenge with that crouching medium punch. He just got to loop that offense until he took the round. With the character that you're dealing with, such as Kimberly, like you do sort of have to be very patient with, with how aggressive she is uh, as a character in general, the way she's designed. So the way that Small Caps is playing right now by just outpatienting and, and actually taking their time is, is taking uh, paying dividends right now in this set. Small Caps also staying attentive to his airspace, making sure Mike Drive's not trying to fly overhead. Round two. Got by the overhead. Small caps on the back foot in the corner and gets sent right back into the corner. Nobody wants to be in the corner. This is the last place you want to be in the corner against. I with either of these characters, realistically. Again, these anti airs on point. With that level one, yeah, to a good good neutral standing spot. medium kick there. Gets that challenge, going to be able to convert into another level one. Confirm that kill. Spend the meter while you have it. You don't get it in the next game. The anti air again. That drive though, not phased in the slightest. Good neutral jump there. He's small caps in the corner, continuing that pressure. Oh! 
gets caught with the level three. Tried to go for a setup there while the bomb was in play, but small caps, wake up level three. Massive damage. With a level three of their own right there. Not quite sure if this kills. I think it should be. Oh, and it, it does. Enough. Electribe tying up the score here. We've got a back and forth winners finals. Tip range of the sweep. Going in with the meaty slide there to get the combo conversion afterwards. Trying again for these shimmies. Small Cat's playing a lot more patient now. Choosing to sit and play defense. Oh, great challenge. That's a medium punch. Full combo. That is not going to oh. go through. But that will go will. through. Going to use the extra can there, and that gets the extra damage that they needed. Now the stubbornness of Electribe to use that meter for reversals paying off. Certainly not phased. Full screen slide there. Don't force yourself in any sort of mix if you don't have to. Now put the pressure on. Electrive locked down in the corner. Great challenge. Takes the round. So it's three bars meter to work with two. Take into this final one. Baiting the uppercut there. Well done by Electrive. There you go. Finally spent the level three. Good damage. Just under half health remaining for Ryu. Oh! Try to go for a walk-up throw. Stopped a little, just a little out of range. These anti-airs. Great read. Spent the level three of his own. With Ryu damage? I don't know if that'll be enough. Not that quite. Will not be enough. The Electra not in the best position right now. I like that. Immediate spend of the OD Fireball. Three hits. Even if Electra would have survived it, would have broken the armor on the drive impact. Standing medium kicks. Great mileage for Electribe in these whiff punishes. Ooh, gets hit by that jumping right there. Backs off. Doesn't keep that offense going. Regen some of that drive. Great oh back. my goodness. Does not continue the rest of that combo. My apologies. Oh. Reversal gets baited again. It cleans it out. That tribe taking that first round. We've almost got three bars of meter to work with for both players here. Speak of the devil. Electra's now got that three. Small caps going to get the three off this throw. Great back Good dash. Back dash there, yes. You're not jumping in on this guy. You're not jumping over him. Small cast with execution. That's too good to be jumped in on. This is a no-fly zone. Oh! Goes for the diving elbow to uh, cut the, uh, the the jump angle early. Great awareness from the leg drive. Using, using small cast's own strength to his advantage. Know that Small Caps is ready for the anti-air every time. So just cutting it early 
Force and small caps into a very precarious position. Going to tie up the set. We go into game five of winner's finals. Very close set right here. Both players proving that they don't want to go down easily. Nobody wants to go down and loses right now. We're going to see who ends up being the winner of this in a matter of time. Simple. Next with that medium. Really crashing medium on the edge. Another reversal. Great anti air. That's an anti air you rarely see very often. There we go. Small caps not getting caught by the elbow drop this time. We do it again. Oh! Going with the. Great patience to wait for the reversal, but not quite ready for the option that Electribe was going for there. Electribe still has a chance to completely turn this game on its head. Although both players in burnout. Oh, Electribe was definitely looking out for that fireball, but just wasn't quite ready for it. Going to get chipped out. Small caps on set point now. Another use of that standing heavy kick anti-air. Overhead. Forcing Electribe into the corner. Another greedy slide there. Gonna cash out on the big damage this time. Also take that drive gauge. Even out the health. Does not want any part of that drive rush right there. Dragon punches right through it. I am not blocking this mix. Great air to air. Knows that he. Small caps just Good wants challenge. to keep Electribe in the corner right now. Keeping Electribe on the back foot here. And the reversal for the punish. The trade there going to go in Small Caps' favor. And we'll be moving into grand finals. Small Caps just guaranteeing themselves a spot right there for potential to win this entire tournament. Yeah, no, there is no better position to find yourself in than the grandest of finals. Now get to sit, wait, watch the rest of his competition. Exactly. Beat up each other. As Electribe waits to see who his next opponent is. Going to be finding that out real soon. We got Flux Waves going up against Bonsai. This is a uh, rematch from yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, correct? I believe so, yes. I have to uh, take a uh, just a quick peek at the bracket to make sure, but I believe that these two were uh, did play. Was Bonsai I did send Flux Waves to the loser side? But yeah, taking a quick look, yes, it was Bonsai that took it 2-0. Yes, over Flux Waves. So yes, now now the memories are flooding back to me. Yes, uh, it was a uh, you know. Risk with all due respect, it, it was a bit of a wash. Yeah, so, uh, I, Bonsai, I, Bonsai took it like pretty I convincingly. I could have sworn I saw that too. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering to see like how this is going to turn out today after the, the less than 24 hours it's been since then. I, I do. I am curious to see what levels, what new layers we're going to end up seeing today between uh, both Bonsai and Flux Wave right now. Yeah. Flux Wave. Obviously looking to uh, retain the uh, the championship here at Toryuken. But Bonza, if he's able to uh, have even a semblance of what that game, what that set between the two was uh, yesterday, then I think he's going to have a, uh, a real good time navigating through this loser semis. Round one. Waves unable to find any sort of offense. Having trouble getting it started. It's a jump My over to goodness. escape the grab. But again, Bonsai is going right back into it. Get the 
perfect parry. Oh, oh back perfect parry forth. right back perfect at you. But this time, oh, high yeah. angle. Clutch is able to get a punish. Oh! Gets hit. Holy oh. cow. Oh, He's going for max meter right now with that, with that uh, command grab. And, uh, and, and I like that too. That was uh, the, the way to finish that round was a statement. I'm yes. going to suck the life out of you. Exactly. I'm what better a character to do with an action? Bonsai, though, seems really unfazed. Wants to keep it going, but a great read from Flux Wave. Gonna be able to lock Bonsai in the corner again. Good challenge. Quick combo into level three. Great damage. Forcing Bonsai into critical, though. Oh. Oh, all right. Wow. Does spend the level three. Next as well. Such a lovely it's a massive damage. Oh, keep it going. Gets out of there. Jumps over the reversal. Catches maintain Fox on pressure. the wake up. Like you said, maintain the pressure. Catch him on the wake up. The audience here definitely not showing any biases whatsoever. As they continue to cheer for who they want to win. Uh, Sudbury faithful, making it known. The parry and would be able to get the punish counter off it as well. I'm not holding this mix. Oh my god. Ooh, the low to watch out right now, but that's gonna be it. Bonsai taking the first game. Oh, oh is I, what I, I would mistaken. say. But yeah, no. get the block stream going. And that health, no meter, or no resources to work with there for Flux Waves. Able to take it. Going back, oh, to the character select. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I was talking about it earlier. I haven't seen uh, Flux Waves JP in a very good while. That's true. And you, you got your wish right now, actually. You're going to end up seeing it right now against Bonsai. JP, a character who's really fallen off the radar as of late, but those who are faithful to him still give it their all. Flux Waves always keeping JP in the back pocket. Oh, they just out of range of that. Not gonna get a punish on it though. It's a relentless onslaught. Starting to see why Flux Waves made this choice. As soon as he finds himself in an opportunity to keep Bonsai very far away, just keep going with this nonstop, relentless offense, oh and my. uses it to get a perfect to start game two. Now Bonsai has to be the one to adjust the situation, having to face off against the JP right now. It's the read on the drive reversal. As JP's back to the wall, this is exactly where Bonsai wants to keep this character. The Flux Waves connects with that one stray hit, and it's going to put him right back into his most comfortable position. Great read on the teleport. Not able to get a full combo off of it, though. Oh, DIing right through those attacks. And using the meter to guarantee this round. Sends it into the level one. Bonsai, right back at you. That needed some time to readjust to uh, the game plan against JP. Catch the dive kick in the air. Oh, just caught with the tail end of it. Oh my, goes into level three. For Bonsai in burnout as well. Great spot for Flux to take this. Great reaction to the dive kick, punished with the drive impact. 
And even if you had the uh, the health to survive that, just look at that nasty setup he had going. I know, they were ready, ready for, for it. They might as well have full health. It wouldn't have made a difference. Lonzo now, receiving some coaching. But still going with the jury by the looks of it. One game apiece now. Right back to it. Just sneaking under flux there. A lot of stray hits going back and forth with each other. No one able to take perfect advantage of it quite yet. Bonsai making an interesting decision there. Willingly backs up full screen. This JP can play this game as much as they want. Playing full screen is exactly where JP wants to keep the opponent. That's the hit. And he's straight hit like that to just reset it back to like back to this, which is exactly JP. Jury does have great movement options to escape this, but you have to find yourself in a oh. good opportunity to do so. Spends the drive impact to beat out some of those projectiles, but goes into burnout. Ray with punish. Yodi spikes. Bonsai now playing a lot more passively. Seems to be fine sitting there, carrying all this offense coming in. But this gives him flux wave so many opportunities to set up even more uh, stuff for Bonsai to deal with if he ever tries to go on the offensive. Got a little too overzealous with the dive kick. Now flux wave's taking perfect advantage of it. Gets that level three as well. Not quite enough to kill. Oh, Feng Shui engine. Install. Oh, doesn't care though. Air to airs it. Clean and simple. Going right back into it now for game four. Gets the jump and then drive rush combo too. Punish. Resets it into command grab. That's uh, that's one thing. That's, that's something that catches a lot of people fighting JP off guard. They always forget that that projectile can be a command grab as well. Exactly. Luckily, he's taken perfect advantage of it. Now finds himself on set point. Move into losers finals. Catches Bonsai again. Overzealous. Okay. Catch with the drive impact in air. Could be a shift now. Tries to be Amnesia. Not going to go out in his favor. Now Funkway is stuck in the corner. Amnesia is going to come out this time. Okay. Oh. oh, wait. Still able to pick up. Funkway overlooking the, uh, the second hit of the Amnesia there. But no hesitation. Still resume the combo. Bonsai now finding these opportunities to throw the drive impact in at the perfect opportunities. Connecting with the level three, cash out on the damage. We get that drive gauge. Box a little low on drive. Playing it nice and simple now. Oh, gets hit. Perfect parry on the drive impact. Back throw incident. Two hits with trade, we jump in and the ants here. Level two, time to guess. Oh. Oh! Good use of the level one there to counter the DI. Monza though still in burnout. Oh, gotta watch out for the chip damage. Oh! And 
and Bonsai. Wasn't too close for the OD Spikes to connect. Found himself in an opportunity. Both players had a bit of a scramble there, but able to clean up. Bonsai taking the game. And tying the set as well. As w yes, indeed. We're now in a game five situation where a winner <laughs> will move on and play Electra <laughs> for his final grand finals. Flux staying on the JP. Been working so far. This whole set's had ups and downs for both players here. Staying loyal. Here we go, going into this game five. Here. Bonsai and Burnout, full screen. Uh, not the way you want to start your round. Yep, going to get the lock, no resources. Two turn it around. Oh, as he has him, he'll spend him. Gonna get the punish in time. Oh, but yeah, snubs it out yeah. still. Flux waves on set point. So we've seen Bonsai make these comebacks before. Now Flux waves doing a good job of checking Bonsai's offense, checking his movements. Oh, off to the teleport. Doesn't get anything big off it though. Bonsai having these opportunities to punish Fox Waves. But now taking full advantage of it. Oh! Good use of BI there to bait the Amnesia. Oh, drops the combo. Oh. Spends it to level three. Gonna burn out Flux Waves, but Flux Waves gonna ransom right back with the level three. Gonna get some of that drive gauge back and put Bonsai in a very bad spot. Critical health, no resources to work with now. Has to sit here and eat this offense. Oh, the dive kick going to come in just in time to beat the spike. Catches yeah. on the meaty wake up. Bonsai takes it. We're going to a final, final round. Both with no meter, too. We're going to see who's going to move on into the loser's finals right now. The decision there from Flux Waves. Bonsai is just going to sit there and parry. Bonsai's drive looking a little low. Still in Good it though. Jump there. Oh, level one gets snubbed out. Spends it, not quite Just gonna get far. there. Spends it again, but it's too close. Not gonna lock. One more time, finally gets the stun. Spends a level one, not, not gonna, gonna kill. Enough. JP still in burnout. Oh, I like, uh, sorry. That's gonna be enough. Gets the jump over on the wake up drive reversal. Bonsai taking it over last year's champion and is moving on back to Grands for a rematch. Oh, hold on, hold on a minute. Back I'm getting ahead of myself. Almost Grands. Not, not quite time for Grands yet. But you know what? I wasn't wrong. This yes. is a, it. It, uh, it would have been a rematch. These two on the opposite ends of bracket now going to be meeting each other on loser side. But yeah, silly me overlooking that uh, okay. that another like killer we had here. That, that could have been. That was good enough to be one. Th that, sure. that was good enough to be a, a grand finals uh, quality set. Oh, easily. Got it. Losers, uh, losers semis though. So now we're moving into losers finals. Excuse me, excuse me. No worries, no worries. Bonsai having no time to breathe, no time to rest. Still has to stay there in the chair and wait for Electribe to arrive. We we'll had a bit of a bit of time to study actually yeah. during that uh, that intense set that they had. Yeah, I, I, I think something that really goes like really underappreciated uh, once you're in that losers uh, that loser semis uh, position in bracket is that at that point. Whoever wins that, it turns into a marathon for them. 
It does. Because you got to go through, got to go through, lose the semis. Okay, I I beat that. Oh, but now I got to deal with. Uh, I got I got to deal with two people who made it to uh, winners finals at some point in this tournament, and you just have to sit in that seat. You have to keep it on rocking, and you just and, and it's a it's a battle of endurance at this rate. That, that's a big part of it, especially when you do continue from loser side, but you're still doing well. You gotta, you do have to play more games against whoever's in winner side. They have the privilege of actually having to wait and get some water, go to the bathroom, whatever it might be. They, they have time to study. What's next? But no such luxury is going to be afforded to Bonsai here, going into losers finals against Electribe. I was getting some uh, good mileage off those raw drive impacts earlier in that match with Flux Wave. Not going to pay off against Electrive, though. Guys with the low forward. Jumping HP is getting crazy mileage. Good Great catching heavy punch there. Great anti-air, ready for the option bonds I was going for. Spend it to level one. Still not quite enough to kill, even with the bomb. Dive kick, not punished. Oh, goes for the DI, but wasn't looking at his vitality gauge. Like Tribe, taking that first round. from the corner. And here we are in the corner. Gets the reversal baited. Back to the level three. Good position for Electrive to do it. Absolutely gets the install, gets the damage, and maintains the corner pressure as well. with the safe jump Kimberly. jump in right there black trap looking good to start this losers finals it's bad of the reversal oh anti air the jumping hp Dive back into the corner, but once again goes for the reversal. Electrab's ready for it. And now gonna Medium. have to eat that drive impact. Oh, drops the combo, gives Bonsai a chance. Electrab goes into burnout. Bonsai's got full drive to work with. Electrab just staying out of range. Can't afford to take a few hits like this. Good patience on Electrab's part. Uh, Bonsai, Bonsai is uh, Bonsai's been letting these uh, drive impacts rip left, right, and center. So Electra possibly just wait, possibly like going, being perfectly fine, backing up straight into the corner, just allowing uh, Bonsai to even attempt the drive impact, just react to it, and jump over it. That is the double-edged sword of the drive impact itself. You can use it offensively, defensively, depending on if you're waiting for it or not. And Electra right there, knowing exactly what you have. Oh, and once again, Bonsai 0 for 3 on these reversal DPs. Paying the price for it. Good tech. Saw this situation in its exact form last round. Bonsai's got a little more meter to work with this time. Gonna spend it on the level 3. Pause that drive recovery on Electric Drive. Get back to 4 bars of drive himself. Let's keep that offense going. No drive for Electric Drive to work with. Spends the drive impact again. Pretty risky with that low health, but paying off. And Bonsai takes it. Looks this like they waited, actually, just for them to land, just so that they can ensure that they get the sun combo on for, that one. For better or for worse, Bonsai playing very stubborn. Oh, get shimmied.
Oh. Gets to confirm into the level three. That should probably yeah, be enough damage. That's just not, there's no skill for that. No need, uh, no need to consult Sagem on that one. But yeah, Electrive now up 2-0 in the set. Oh, immediate. We can't even talk about that last game at all. I know. Gamers are here to game. Catches him. Oh, and now just looping these throws. Bend the reversal. Oh, oh my. Both players are aware of each other's reversal options. They're going to spend the level one, though, in burnout. Leg tribe. Good position. Oh, wow, that's right at his feet. But the yes. Onitatsu going to beat the dive kick attempt. The leg tribe now wants set point. Punish on that, drop the combo though. Bit of a scramble there, ends up in Bonsai's favor. He's the one continuing the offense. Black Tribe, Tama's off the stray hit. Oh, oh. and resets the two. Bonsai caught, not holding up there. And now it's dire position for Bonsai, who responds with another wake up reversal but it's unfortunately going to end those reversals, going one for five as Electribe moves on. And now I can say, going into Grand Finals. Yes, yes. The Toronto and Sudbury faithful, Sudbury. making their voices heard. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that drive on the loser side. The small caps only have to win three matches. And that drive has to win six. Russell explaining the rules. Yes. As if the groom of people here were not aware of it, you know, just in case. It's their first time hearing it, it seems like, at least by the tone. Yeah, taking a quick look at how we got here. Electribe and small caps went on a tear. Well, we got well, we got some. Uh, I really like the uh, uh, the uh, like the small like not not small per se, but like the smaller names that we did get to see here. Like oh, absolutely. Like with Monkey Business, we got Rex, Rex as well. Exactly. Solomon, Solomon as well. I'm not familiar with Solomon, but I definitely enjoy seeing their games today. Yeah, making a good run here. And then, and then, yeah, like, like, like a, like a real big story to tell here is that Joe uh, going down two straight. Uh, but you know, I would, I would honestly back him up a little bit here and say he did show up a little bit later. wasn't able to get those warm ups in. Uh, but going up against a, uh, a red hot Electribe and and in a flux waves too for a rematch of last year. But exactly. all roads lead to the grand finals we have now. Small caps on the Ryu. Electribe on the Kimberly for your grand finals of Street Fighter VI at Toriyuki. This is going to be exciting. Challenge with small caps. And that, that interesting end here again. Yeah, they did it, a lot today, yeah. actually. Yeah. But hey, I it's, if it's a spacing thing, but it has been working very well for them. Yeah, it's paying dividends, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Good clip there with the crush medium punch, but drops it. 
Oh, spends the impact. Small cat into stun. Gives a free chance to take this first round and get the momentum rolling on a potential reset. Oh, great reaction to the fireball. Wow. Small guy's getting a bit impatient there. Not gonna be enough to kill. Oh, I, I is what you I, would say. I would have said. Kimberly, I missed the cans on that one. Yep, I'll take that. We're getting to look at the uh, the bomb counter there. Just enough to kill. Take that perfect. Start off grand finals with a statement. Caps, allowing Electribe to control some of the airspace here. Going small caps right back in the corner. Dude, just scrapping at each other. I love it. Yes, and continuing the pressure as well. Electribe in cruise control here. Small caps jumping over. Going back into the corner. Good a little game. late to the crosscut attempt. Electrab going to take that round. Again, forcing small caps in the corner here. Small caps. Hasn't been able to uh, escape these situations in a meaningful manner. He's going for the jump over, but Electribe ready to go for the anti-air every single time. Get the trades. Combo into the level three. Bit late, but I say this kills. Yeah, good call. Good choice on that. Electribe with a quick 2-0 now. Small caps, perhaps. You know, playing it nice and slow, taking this time to figure out like Tribe's tendencies. After all, this is only the first potential half of Grand Finals. You have time. Good use of the donkey pressure there. First one beat out the grab. Like Tribe throwing small caps back into the corner from whence he came. Doesn't Ooh. follow up, but just goes for it again. Gonna get the kill on this one. Small cap taking the first round. Yo, small caps finally getting on top of those anti airs. Level one gonna beat out the overhead attempt. ODDP. Alleviates some pressure. Get the electri right back into it. Gets that hit. Gets to keep it going. I swear, every time it's blinking, you miss it. Small Caps has found himself back in the corner. Oh, Ooh, bit of a drop there. Yeah. That may have been a drop there. Small Caps escapes. Oh, but gets caught. Again. Electribe taking the round. Reset point. Reset right point. Great anti air. Once again, putting small caps in the corner. Playing out perfect range. Make sure he's not able to escape. Goes for the air to air. Both playing very patiently right now. Great awareness from small caps. So let's Electribe jump and just walks right underneath them. Put him in the corner. Great challenge, crouching medium punch. Combo nice and short. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Level one, which is going to catch Electrip in the air. Into the raw drive impact. And they're going to get themselves on the scoreboard. Small caps. Great patience. Making it 2-1. Yeah, great patience, doesn't overextend, able to squeak that out, prevents the reset. Electrive not taking his foot off the gas. Just before. Good block of the overhead there. Oh, and great anti air. Once again on reset point. Small cats taking these before. Great cross cut. I'm not blocking that. Gets caught with the overhead. Walk up stays ducking though. Not getting caught up by those lights. Good air to air. A little too far to get the EX Tatsu there. Oh! Paint Bomb going to make sure Small Caps wasn't able to convert anything further off the OD reversal. Small Caps slowly fighting his way out of the corner. Again, yeah, these anti airs now on point. Needed some time to warm up. The throw. Gonna take the round. Small Caps once again has the opportunity to both prevent the reset and get a little bit closer to taking the whole tournament. This is a very close set we're watching right now. The footsies is immaculate. The patience and the challenge from Small Caps. Ash is out. Goes straight into level three, uses it right away. Cash out on some massive Season 2 Ryu damage. I like what Small Caps is doing too. Throwing the uh, Hasho at about medium range, forcing Black Tribe to go Ryu. for an unorthodox option. Exactly. Wants to catch them off guard. And now Small Caps. And Can that's going to be it right there. Small Caps tying it up. 2 2. Dying at 2 2, preventing the reset, and is now only two rounds away from taking the tournament. Catch oh. with the low. Force the small captain into the corner. Get a little impatient as well. Blunt bump. Oh. oh. Great thing there from the small cats. Go for the parry. The shimmy. Great spot for Electrive. Taking this first round convincingly and spending the level two to confirm the kill. Electrive once again for the third time of this set. Yes. On set point. Perhaps third time for Charm for Electrive. Small Caps escapes. Kimberly throwing Ryu into the corner right now. Trying to push him slowly and slowly further into the corner. Wanting none. And getting themselves in a position right now where it's anyone's game. Going to a final, final round of Grand Finals. Electribe on reset point. Small Caps on tournament point. Electribe, about two bars meter to work with though. Small Caps has only drive to work with. It's a very important round for both players right uh, as we speak. Drivers cancel into the throw. Reversal gets blocked. Not combo. able to convert. Dire straits for Electribe here at critical health. Small caps in a good position. Three bars a meter, but not going to be able to perfect. use it. Takes it with the perfect. And your winner, Fortor Yukin 2024. Give it up 
for Small Caps. Great set there. Great grand Going final. Right down to the wire. Oh, for sure. And, and we were like almost at a. Uh, okay. We were like almost at a spot for uh, for a reset too. That set could have gone just a little bit longer potentially, but we're not going to see it. Takes it. Russell's messing up everybody's names here. I know. Honestly, either one could have won, honestly. I'm not even surprised. Yeah. Could have gone either way, but that last round was very convincing in small caps' favor. Very just, again, so. just needed that time to uh, lock in, warm up again after uh, taking a pretty uh, pretty good break after the... Uh, uh, t t a pretty, after the oh, gee, excuse, Yeah, the wow. words. Honestly, I don't blame you. Yeah. It's... Uh, yeah, watching this game at this caliber boggles the mind. So much happening. Any little mistake can honestly just be that could just be it for you in, in these situations. And at these at this caliber, like any mistake that like that could be your tournament run as a whole. Yeah, finally. Oh, oh, even the best, they even made even like small cast made some mistakes too. So it could happen to anyone. Absolutely. Really. Yeah, finally going into the award ceremony now. Nothing but the most prestigious of awards. The medals for Toryukin. Fourth place being awarded to Flux Waves. The Sudbury faithful making it nice and loud. Yes, exactly. For Bonsai's third place finish here. Black Tribe coming close, taking second place. But not going to take it against the champion of Toryuken 2024, Small Caps, on the Ryu. Been playing with Ryu ever since season one as well, and it has absolutely paid off for them today. Yeah. The, uh, the loyalty to the character. You know, I personally never thought there was anything wrong with Ryu, but kept getting those buffs, kept getting that power creep, getting stronger and stronger as the months were progressing. And it was spelling a recipe for great success Four small caps here. Oh, here we go. Our favorite part of Tor You Can Hear. Exactly. Everyone's getting invited to the big group picture. Unfortunately, we can't be a part of it, even though. Oh, I mean, we can if we want. Oh, okay, I'm going to be in it then. I'll be back. Sam's going to take that opportunity. So, uh, as for me, I am uh, Eurostep Sam. Yeah, I've been, uh, I'm a Captain Neckbeard. Thank you for joining us for yes. uh, uh, some Street Fighter VI uh, Top 8. We're going to be right back with some Tekken 8 Top 8 coming up right after this. Absolutely. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching as well.